Mm, mm, mm. We got another one dissing Greg Roman. Willie Sneed. Willie Sneed was peaceful to me. But you know what? He's been hot fire. Let's get to it. Baltimore Ravens coat. Purple trim. Big body. Old school for love. Willie Sneed tweets. Uh, he tweets out. Any receiver can be a number one. Oh, my bad. A number. A, be a true quotation. He could put the quotations. Remind me of Austin Powers. Number one. If they are in a system that allows them to be, what they do after that is on them. 100. I'm like, man, we know what he's talking about. And this Willis need that. Willis need never just blabbed out anything like that. But just for him to do that, two things come to mind. He was thinking about his Ravens career. He was like, Greg Roman's trash. Then the second one, he was like, you know what? Probably on the phone or Zoom with his boys, with Lamar, with the Florida boys, with Marquise. They just discussing. Man, this dude trash, bro. Then he just like, man, I'm finna, I'm finna go. Just let him have it. Boom, tweeted it out. 30 minutes later, Hollywood put 100 on now. Or should I say it in ghetto terms, 100. Like, man, this is crazy. So you had Hollywood saying the soldiers in the middle of the season. We we Raven fans, we know. Come on. It's like, we first we was like, man, he called him out. Then you know he had a little slack in the game. But now I think about it. He was iffy in them games, but he he really didn't get that many play calls. But then at the end of the season, he went. Off. It could have went off even more because a, a lot of those was Lamar getting that extra time. Play is already busted because it's simple, but play is already busted, and that's when the street ball comes in. And who we have on the Ravens that's great with street ball, other than Lamar, is Hollywood and Mark Andrews. Willis need a little. And Willis need a little. But, you know, Willis need is gone. He's definitely gone after this. But that's two people that are so far called out. I didn't get, and I didn't even say, my boy, Mr. X. He called him out. He And he called him out in a smooth way. He's like, you know what? I ain't going to say anything. I'm just put these videos or these plays, not just plays to me, plays to other people that was never called in a game. And we continually see people bag Greg Roman up. Me, I'm I'm to the point where I'm like, I'm done. Like. I don't think we will succeed to pass that limit unless our new hires, they literally take over. They they, they just going to have to take over. Hobbs' seat is warm right now because he wants to keep very Roman. And I believe that because, you know, once you in, once you want to hold boys, he don't let them go. He do not let them go. Even, uh, what was that? Um. Uh, was it morning weed? Yeah, I think it was morning weed. He literally didn't want to fire morning weed. He wanted to demote him and let Greg Roman take over and have morning weed there, I believe, for like a passing coordinator or something like that. And I'm like, dude, get some fresh blood in there. Now, this season, he has got a lot of fresh blood, but also, I believe it was nine. Raven coaches that got hired in other places, half of them, like 50% of them in Michigan. That, 
I ain't going, they don't, you going to send everybody to your brother. I understand you're helping them out, but like, we need some help in the offense, dude. Send Greg Roman. But, you know, nobody wants them. And that's the trip out part. They're literally hiring the running back coach, the quarterback coach. They're hiring everything around Greg Roman because they're like, your surrounding is strong, but your inner core is weak. He doesn't see that. But I see so many people, as I said, I'm just rambling my bad, but I see so many people just taking up for the, for the guy. Well, you know, he was, Lamar was, when the first season he was, you know, Lamar was MVP. True. But if you look at Greg Roman history, every first season he does is good. But then he falls off. Like I said in my old video, my cousin told me that. He's my cousin 49er fan. He said, y'all going to have that one good year, and Greg Roman's going to be trash after that. Fact. Also, that he said in the middle of the season, oh, I'm a, what did he say? He said something like, uh, um, he's going to tweak, he's going to look better. If you're already stating that, you know it's a problem. And... I seen a little improvement, but when it mattered, there was no improvement. He went back to the old Greg Roman. And Lamar is so good. Lamar outplays the bad plays that he calls for. And usually when we seen Lamar really go off, like really, really go off, it's when he's in that two minute offense and he's just audible and then doing his thing and there's no stopping. But we know you can't continually do that because defense will get no rest. Offense will be extremely tired because it can be quick three and outs. Defense will be messed up. Or even if you go too many drill and go down the field real fast, defense still wouldn't get no rest. And when our defense gets rest, they ball. And that shows. But, dude, so we got. So now, okay, so. We got so far what three wide receivers has called out Roman. Two of them been in the offense with Roman for the last two years, and Des Bryant was only in for this year, a half a year, and he already called out problems. So that's Willie Sneed, that's Marquise, and that Dez. So, one person we're missing to call him out for as a wide receiver is Miles Boykin. And Miles Boykin is nice. He is super nice. Mr. Flanders is nice. So, if he calls him out, oh, I'm done. That's it right there. But, man. So, y'all tell me what y'all think because it's <laughs> season is over. But the Ravens, the wide receivers, and man, them Florida, and them my, my D Town, because D Town, we, we don't care either. We'll just call you out. But man, this is. Whew.